Hello. Um, so, I will never step foot in Mexico ever again. Um, every family, you know, every family has weddings out of town. So, where we might, you know, where we might get into spats with siblings. Um, so, just be careful when you're in a foreign country whose laws might be a little different than our laws. Keep that in mind. Um, in 2018, my mom, dad, brother, and I went to Mexico for my cousin's wedding. We got to town two weeks before the wedding and booked an ATV excursion on our first weekend there. Fun. At 10 a.m. on Sunday, we waited at the sh uh, sh for a shuttle to stop to be taken to the excursion. One small problem was that we waited over an hour for the shuttle to come and it did not show up. We went to the place where we got to the tickets from and complained that we wanted a refund to go back to our hotel, but the staff kept trying to convince us that the shuttle was coming and also telling us that they were not refund us for the excursion. After seeing me, after seeing me tell some prospective customers not to do service with them, one of the employees of the excursion business got in my face and threatened me, telling me he knew people in town that I wouldn't be want to be involved with. Gang shit. <laughs> A few days later, our family members went out to some bars to have a bachelor party for the groom. Unfortunately, my younger brother, who was 17 at the time, was feeling very anxious and wanted to leave the bars and walk back to the hotel. He started to walk back by himself, and I told him I wasn't going to let him do that, so I started to walk back with him. My brother got very angry about this, yelling that he was grown enough to go by himself, to which I countered that that wasn't the point that the point was that we were in a foreign country and very drunk and i could easily walk him back we were arguing on the street as we were walking and eventually my brother got angry and he pushed me i responded to him pushing pushing me by punching him right in the face and i ended up and we ended up in a fight in the streets of mexico immediately police pulled up on the scene and intervened in our fight we were in a complete sh com complete shock as they put us in handcuffs on us and put us in the back of their truck. On our drive to the jail, my brother texted my family members, as so that he we could, as that he could be the as he could be the as, that we were being arrested and that they needed to come get us. The drive to the jail was about twenty minutes. We didn't know it was what was going on. Immediately, police pull up on the scene and intervene in our... Oh, wait, I already read that. Sorry. Um, where am I? The drive was... The drive to the jail was 20 minutes, and we didn't know what was going on or what was going to happen next. Upon arriving at the jail, my brother and I were separated and placed in cells that smelled like urine and forced to sleep on the floor for the night. I was worried about my brother the entire time until I was eventually told I had visitors, which were my parents coming to bail us out. My parents bailed us out by paying the judge a couple hundred pesos. My mom was relieved to get us out, and my dad was very angry at us. So, in conclusion, don't punch your siblings in a foreign country that you don't know the laws of. When you travel internationally with family, try to avoid getting into fights with them. And my strong closing statement is don't be kind of a drunk and escalate petty violence because cops could be around the corner. Okay, thank you.